Welcome to my 2025 planner brainstorming session. Now that I got my planners, we are gonna compare what I wrote, what I have, and what's going on and what my plans are for 2025. Hey everyone, it's Estella. I am a planner, stationary, book obsessed mom caregiver, and you know, someone who just does all the things, works right, and really uses planners to keep me accountable and organize my life because I'm literally on top of my own schedule. But not only that, I manage three other people's schedules. Yes, not my husband's. My husband's great. I don't do anything for him, but he's wonderful. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, let's get to it. So this, as you can see, clearly is like my obsession. This is my happy place. This makes me feel like a kid. This brings me back to like the 90s, the 80s, even when I was growing up um, in the city and kind of getting all the Karopi stickers and all the little stationary goodies and then Lisa Frank and the stickers. And so I am in this era that really reminds me of just a happy place. This year, I really, really was focused on getting only planners that I need. Now, in the process, and we all have done this and we are all, you know, human. It's okay to completely do something and be like, oh my goodness, what did I do? What did I purchase? Did I really need that? We all done it. So, I mean, it's going to happen. One thing I know for sure is that I am definitely a Hobonichi Han girly. And the reason being is I love the hardcover. The hardcover reminds me of a book. It reminds me of something I can put on my shelf and I can look at and it's absolutely beautiful, right? There's the 2024 right here that you see. Okay, you could see that. I could shelve it in my bookshelf. It, it'll look pretty and it has a beautiful you know, Han there. And I think moving forward, all I want are Hans when it comes to memory keeping or anything related to something like work because I'm just putting it in my bag or putting it somewhere and we are going to discuss. So as you can see here, by the way, I keep on adding like more ephemera as I shop. As you can see here in the beginning, I was using this weekly and then all of a sudden we fell off. I am not using the weekly. I am not a vertical weekly person. I don't want to first force myself to be a vertical weekly person. And I've stated this multiple times. I tried it. Initially, when I had the Hobonichi Cousin, you saw me planning away. And I was doing it for a good year, kind of like decorating it, washi tape and everything. And I just, it's not for me, y'all. It really isn't. So then, we're going to come back to this. But if I go to like a entry... This page right for me is too big. I don't want such a big space because I am someone and I've had somebody also comment that they're not someone who can write and write and write and write and write and write. I can't do that. My time is very limited and I want a good 15 to 20 minutes where I can plan and where I can journal, right? And then I want another maybe 30 minutes at the end of the day, at most an hour where I could sit down and do some, you know, end of the day journaling, pasting ephemera, recording a memory or making sure I have it on my phone so that way I can print it out and then put it in my in my journal. So I want to have a smaller writing space. Some people like bigger writing spaces. I prefer smaller writing play, uh, spaces because for me, I don't write that much. I can get what I need to get in a good paragraph. I, I don't want to brain dump in my journal. And some people, I think, brain dump in their journal and then journal and then you know, put a whole bunch of things. I want to be very intentional about my memory planner, my journal, because that's for me, that's for my feelings, that's remembering moments, especially as time goes on with my mom and my parents. It, I want to be very intentional. I, I do have a plan for brain dumping because I do sometimes get cluttered with a lot of things or worry and I need a space for that. And I was researching brain dumping methods. So we're going to talk about that probably in another video. So let's go back to this. This is my brainstorming session that I had, and I had a video on this, but basically I needed a personal planner, I needed a work planner, I needed the function for my work planner to have like or overall days, you know, like when I have holidays, I needed to have like a monthly view of the activities that are going on for work or any any type of events that we are doing. On top of that, I needed to really kind of break down every day task. And I thought a weekly was going to do it. And I've literally tried like five different planners. At this point, I've tried a 
uh, just a regular moleskin notebook. Then I tried a moleskin weekly. Then I tried a um, another planner, the passion planner that didn't work out. Um, I've tried just a regular old notebook, like a theology that was too open for me. It was not, it was too flexible basically. So when I got this one, I was like, I'm not going to talk about using a new work planner until I've used it. And I say that, that it works and that I've been using it for some time. So this right here is the one. Okay. And the thing is, I didn't decorate this until now because I got into my phase of, I want to put stickers all over my cover, just like I did with this. Because for me, this is a representation of happiness. This is a representation of being in a good space. This is a representation of what I love and things that made me happy in the year of 2024. And very much my attitude or things that were, that was going on, you know, like kind of like having a smile, but at the same time, like literally trying to hold it together, right? Uh, literally working my butt off while trying to take care of my family, take care of my parents, having my husband help, doing things like that. Don't touch my stuff. Like if it's mine, don't read my journal, basically. I'm always drinking coffee and my attitude for people who always have like two cents to say to me, but don't really understand or experience or know what's going on, whatever. So you get my point. Um, So for this right here, I really wanted to have a work planner and I saw um Aria Bea her video from, I think, two years ago showed this cover. And I'm like, oh my God, this cover is so cute. And I'm in the year of gimme colored planners, right? Pop a color. So I firmly believe that this, if you're a collector, you are someone who likes collecting things, this is always going to be with me. Just like my Aristocats cover, this is something that I think is beautiful and I want to keep forever and ever in a day. Now, when I got this, I was like, oh, this is going to be my new memory journal. Now, when I got it, I had so much fun decorating. It's so cute. I put some little magic uh, prints stickers in here, just like I did in here. This is all little uh, magic, little Miss Magic prints. And then this is Red Bubble. Little Miss Magic prints, Red Bubble. So I love Little Miss Magic prints. I think her stickers are beautiful. Her her illustrations are just so cute, so adorable, and they're me. They're me. So when I got this. And then when I felt this for, for work and I was like actually using it for work, I'm like, why didn't I get an A6 Han for a memory planner when this cover, I literally have to babysit it because it is cardstock. And if I want to really like thicken up my planner, I've already seen that this is holding up like this right here. She is holding up. She is a thick girl. Yes, I don't really use the weeklies, but I am stuffing the dailies with ephemera with tape with thick tags with different things and i'm over here just like writing i'm over here writing about my you know covers and i'm like okay i have all these new planners i need to brainstorm what can i use my a6s for because i'm like okay i could use it for a media journal brain dump morning pages um my memory journal and planner that's a given work planner that's a given but i started like really researching like brain dump methods like you know free writing or the top three, the next three, the easy three, that type of thing. Because I was like, I have this, basically, <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. I ordered an A6 Hobonichi Han, the 2025 one, in A6, the ivory cover, because I basically want to decorate it with the stickers. I have the stickers saved right here, okay? They're here, and I have some more in the back. And I ordered this cover, I think, two weeks ago. By the way, these are Little Miss little magic prints here. I keep on saying little miss, little magic prints here. But I just love like this aesthetic right here. This is definitely going on my A6 cover. Like some of this stuff is just so me. And um, this reminds me of Reese, by the way. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> Akatar. Um, yes, hello. <laughs> so I just, I just love this. This is like my, this is me. And I love that this has a back pocket here. It has a beautiful back pocket. Back pocket. I don't know why I can't speak. First of all, the ones. Do I have to explain why? Like, if you know, you know, from New York. Um, And then the french fries, a cute little fast food. Um, Because it's so cute. And I just, I just love this cover. So, what ended up happening is I saw that cover on Aria Bia's video and I was like oh my god is this cover still available so lo and behold I was looking for a6 you know Hobonichi covers 
and guess what I did? I found it and um, I got it because I thought it was cute and I wanted it. So we're in the era of making me happy and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, you can never have too many covers. Covers are like something that protects your planner and if you take good care of your covers, they actually last really really long so just know that and then so this one now I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do with this one so I was like this is where I was thinking of the brain dump or morning pages so brain dump is where literally I write everything and just dump it out and then kind of go from there in my memory journal or morning pages where I kind of do something similar but it's a different purpose so I I will let you all know I'm sorry for the glare but this is something that I was just like kind of um really kind of complaining about initially because I was like, why did I do that? Why, why did I do that? And the plan is this is going to be my personal weekly planner because obviously this is gorgeous, right? And I am going to put stickers on this. I'm going to decorate it. I was thinking of just leaving it black, but then I was like, I want to decorate it because all these, all these are going to have stickers, like the ones I have for 2025. And this was just going to be plain. So I have this one here and I believe like this is going to be my catch-all planner, my weekly planner where I plan things. Now here's the thing. I got an extra one. This was supposed to be for work but what ended up happening is that a daily is what is working for me. We have events, things like that and I'm not going to like openly show you everything. You get the gist, right? Okay. So um, <laughs> um we all know I love my Hobonichi week. She's, she's still going there. She's very plain Jane very plain Jane. Like literally this is the day that I decided to do multiple errands because this is the time I had. I had to do a couple of things. Um, and I still have to write like my mom's appointment that I took her to, to things like that because I do keep a track of this as a log and I want to keep that. And then this is going to be kept, you know, in the cover. So once I'm done with the year with this, I just take off the cover and I'll kind of like archive it like a book, but for right now, because I still keep on taking it out, I still use it. I kind of have it in the cover and this is a brand new cover because I ordered a brand new cover from Japan. So that's going to stay. Now, this is the other thing. I saw Julie Plans like have the, <laughs> this planner and I was like, oh my God, I, I, I love this color and I got it. So these two right now are extra. I'm just going to be very upfront. So we're going to talk about that in a second. And then this is what I mean about, oh, this is my notebook for work. So it just says don't touch my stuff because this is all work. So this is my work notebook. So that's very functional. When I have meetings, all my meeting notes go in here. So this I use. I love it. It's a Stayology and I just have one sticker. Very, she's very chic. And then finally, we have the, um, we have my, my other love. So this one right here, <laughs> this is my 2025 work planner. The reason I got the EVEC for work is because first of all, I'm not planning to archive my work planner. Literally at the end of the year, I have to like, you know, kind of basically shred, <laughs> shred the papers that are inside here because I use it as a referral, kind of writing things down, to-do list. And then at the end of the year, because it's work-related things, I just kind of make sure I shred it so that way there's nothing in there, right? So reason being I did that is because when I start 2025, I would like to keep my notebook for work here and my planner for here. And then when it closes, it's going to be like that. It's going to be like a full year. And this is why I did the EVEC for work. Although I was like, I really want to try this size in the daily because I want to see if it works. And once I found out this is it, this is the one, she is the one, I went ahead and that's why I got the EVEC. Now, <laughs> as you can see, this is so freaking cute, right? This is so cute. It, it just, it just is so, I just love it, right? I just love this system so much. And the thing is, I was like, oh, well, you can, you can do so much. So I have options, right? I know for the Han, I'm definitely keeping it as a memory journal. This right now literally is my work journal because it was like 50% off on Amazon. So I was like, why not get it? Try it out. See if it works for me. This, I was like, okay, this is going to be for work because I could do half my notebook, half this, and then I could just write down my to-do list. And I, I decorated it. I had so much fun decorating this because I, it's like therapy for me, right? 
And then I was like, oh my god, but this is so cute. I kind of want to turn this into like my writer's notebook. And this is the project that I was talking about that I didn't, you know, I started it, stopped it, started it, stopped it, started it, stopped it. I want to write. I, I've been having an idea to write a, a like book and it, it's it's like fantasy, historical fantasy, romanticy basically. And I really want to get started on it and really follow through with it and having like a writer's notebook, putting things in order. I wanted to have that. And then I saw this and I'm like, this makes me happy. Every time I look at this, it gets me excited. It gets me to want to play with it. It gets me to want to write. So do I want to keep this for work? <laughs> so this is where I said the dilemma comes in, right? Because I already know what I'm using this for. So she's she's not going nowhere. Um, so this is the one that is giving me the option. So once my home comes in, my Hobonichi Han is going to be my memory planner for 2025. This one, I think I could definitely just flip it over and use it for work because like I said, I don't need something permanent for work. I just need to make sure, you know, I take care of it throughout the year, write the notes. And then at the end of the year, basically what happens is I just got to take the pages out, shred it. And that's it. You know, I don't need the planner year after year after year. It's just something that I use throughout the year, can refer back to, um, make sure I get tasks done for work that are very specific. I do have a digital system at work, but I am a paper girly. Like sometimes I have to write things down. Sometimes I have to make sure I notate something. If I, I'm speaking to someone and I write things down, you know, instead of writing, um, you know, the notes while I'm speaking to the person, not really, you know, kind of doing two things at once. I just write down what briefly is being discussed, what what's what needs to be targeted, things that I'm doing. And then I could go back and refer to them in my dailies as notes. So this is what I'm thinking is going to be for work. <laughs> and then even though this was originally supposed to be for work because I wanted to stick half and half in there. Now I'm like, oh my God, this is such a cute, um, this is such a cute writer's journal. Like I, I want to use a writer's journal. So the other thing is <laughs> when I said I fell down the rabbit hole, the rabbit hole was covers. I saw another cover that is absolutely stunning. And I was like, I really want to get that cover. There is another one coming to me that is so beautiful. Like she's going to house my work planner and then my writers, right? My writer's uh, notebook is going to go inside this one because I kind of like the colors vibing off each other. Or when this year is done, I will take out, you know, the, the, this one and put in my work planner here and then the other one I could put in my home and then the same thing. So I just have options and I there's no reason for me to feel bad about having multiple covers, but that is what's going on. So definitely this this Hobonichi Weeks, I can definitely return it to Amazon if I wanted to. But I'm debating. So these are the I think are the only two that are extra. So it all in all, I really didn't go overboard. I really stuck to my plan. But when it comes down to it, I think I was thinking in the big picture, like, this is really going to work. This is going to be for me. And then lo and behold, I find something and it finally works and it just clicks. And I'm like, this is what I need. This is exactly what I need. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye.